to set up online ordering. First, you want to go ahead and sign in using your email and password that were created at Setup. I'm going to be using a test restaurant that we created. Once you go ahead and sign in, you'll go ahead and click on a location. Typically for most restaurants, they will only have one location and you want to go through the steps. You'll first click hours. Make sure hours have been set up for the location, whether it's delivery hours, lunch hours, open to close hours for your restaurant. You want to go ahead and set that up. Order settings are typically already set up, but if you need to make any changes, you can make them in here. Then you would go on to pick up settings. You want to allow pickup, you would click yes, and at least fill in one of the required areas. Once that's done, go ahead and hit save. If you're going to offer delivery, same thing at the top, click yes. Go ahead and fill out everything that pertains to you as well as delivery zones. Go ahead and create a delivery zone before you do create a delivery setting. Once that is done, you'll go into menu items and products. And if you are a Clover restaurant, you would import your menu. And there would be a button in this area next to add category that would say import from Clover. Once your items are all imported, you want to make sure and hit edit and the period of time that category is available for. So whether it's lunch and it's only available from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., make sure that time period is selected, so on and so forth. Once that's done, you click save and you want to make sure to do that for every item. Once you do that, you'll go into key information. Make sure this is set up. Same thing with your restaurant liking. Once that's done, hit save. Then you'll scroll down to branding. You'll make sure that your logo is in here. If you wanna do any changing as far as the colors, you would go ahead and select the coloring that you would like. Once that is done, you'll go ahead and hit publish from Munchum. Since this one's already published, um, it's asking me to unpublish. In the case where it's not published, um, it would just the button would say publish. Once that's done, online ordering will be set up and you just have to go and click on online ordering integration and this is where all the coding will be in order for you to be able to add the button onto your website.